I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. I've got a really cool video to do today. This has been suggested by a lot of people and but it's weird because I never got no one ever suggested it until pretty recently but there's been a whole bunch so I don't know if somebody saw one of the comments and said that's a good idea let me suggest it too but the suggestion was uh, does a cold pepper a chilled pepper from the fridge taste different than at pepper at room temperature now before I do I want to talk just for a second about that I think it's gonna taste better and I can't believe I've never done this as a test you know, um, the reason I think it's going to taste better, I personally find that a hot sauce, any hot sauce at room temperature is going to taste better than a hot sauce that's cold. That's just my personal opinion. So I have a funny feeling I'm going to experience that could be just with me, but because that is something that I experience, I have the funny feeling and I could be completely wrong, but I've got the feeling that uh, I'm going to notice a difference. I'm going to get more flavor on the room temperature one. I could be wrong. Uh, the pods for this, these are beautiful Abercrombie hot peppers. What a great company. Jason's amazing. This is the Umara, a chocolate Umarok. Now let me tell you a little bit about the chocolate Umarok. I had confusion about it because, you know, is it a ghost pepper? Is it ghost pepper family? What's going on? Because I've heard people say it's just a bootla or a boot, excuse me. Uh, so here it is, uh, the Umarok chocolate. It's a capsicum chinince, okay? Uh, the Umarok chocolate pepper is a ghost pepper type from Manipur, India, okay? Uh, Manipur is a state in the northeast uh, of India and lies on the border of Burma. So um, it's, it's, it's gonna, I, I, I looked for the Scoville ratings for a, a Umarok, a chocolate Umarok, and I couldn't find any, but I'm guessing because it's in the family, similar to a ghost, it's gonna have a similar heat. Now I have one here. This is the room temperature one. I've had it out since I've been having my coffee, so several hours. It's definitely not a cold, uh, chilled pepper at all. The other one's in the fridge right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat, I didn't think about the order. I'm gonna eat the chilled, for, chilled one first. Uh, yeah, because of that, I'm not gonna cut it open because I don't want it to warm up. I'm just gonna really quickly put it in my mouth and eat it. And I'll cut the, the room temperature one open because I'm not worried about the time of letting it warm up. All right, so I'm gonna pull out the chocolate umarok from the uh, fridge and we'll gobble it down and we'll see what the flavor's like. I'll, I'll do this transition quick, you ready? Chilled chocolate umarok. I'm Johnny Scoville. Maybe this is the thumbnail. This is Chase the It's weird. I don't think I've ever pulled a pod straight out of the fridge. It was a unique experience, so I don't think I've done that before. Um, it tasted earthy and smoky, and um, it was floral right up front. Some bitterness on the back end. But it was a cold pod. It was, it was odd. Um, so this one I'm going to cut open, and we'll take a look at it. I'm not sure if I'm going to take a picture of this thing. I might. I might not. Okay, so the burn is in my mouth. It's got a very similar ascent for the burn that a, a, a chalk, like a ghost pepper does. Kind of even and slow and creeping. It's building. Here is the interior of the room temperature one and as you'll see it's super oily the wall linings are glistening just very strong shine on it pretty cool pepper isn't it 
All right, so here's the uh, on the heat on that. Let's talk about the heat. Uh, the heat obviously is not going to change. Uh, the temperature won't change the heat of the pepper. But uh, if I had to give a heat for the first one, it's typical ghost pepper. It'd be you know, it'd be an uncomfortable experience for a non chili head. Chili head, it's what you'd expect from a ghost pepper. It's going to rate somewhere from a probably. I can see a beast calling it a seven, up to a ten. So here is the uh, room temperature chocolate and rock. It's significant the difference. You know, the reason I've never eaten a cold pepper before, even if I pulled it, even if I left the pepper in to the second I push go on the, on the camera, by the time I get to the point where I'm going to cut it open and eat it, it's already at room temperature. So that really was the first time I've had a cold, super hot pepper, cold, super hot. Um, the, the difference between the first and the second was staggering. There was so much more flavor. The, what happens, I think, is the cold is a distraction. The cold temperature is a distraction. When it, the, it was in my mouth, I was thinking about the, I was you know, processing the cold, the, the temperature of the pod, not the heat of it, but the temperature of it. With the second pod, it was, the, the flavor was so much better. It really was. So here's the take home lesson. Um, don't put your pods in the, I mean, keep them in the fridge. It'll keep them longer. But, but when you're going to eat them, I promise you, they're going to taste better. Um, at room, temp at room temperature. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do, uh, repeat this with some of the common stuff that you can get in the, in the grocery store, like jalapeno, a habanero, just to see the difference because there is a difference, a big difference, at least with that one it was. There was. Um, about five minutes before I started this video, I got this box of pods from my friend, the Michigan Chili Grower. Ryan is a good dude. I talked to him a lot and, uh, I'm going to probably do an unboxing on that one, but I want to talk a little bit more about this pepper. The heat of it, of the second pepper, I really no difference in the first or the second. And that's not surprising. I find, I don't know if you guys have, let me know in the comment section what you think of this, but I have found that um, ghost peppers are so stable, it's absurd. Not just with heat, but with flavor. For real, have you ever had, everybody here has had a rogue banana pepper or a rogue uh, jalapeno, we talk about it all the time, right? I've never had a rogue ghost pepper. Ah, that's not true, I've had some ghosts that were a little bit hotter. I remember the hottest ghosts I've ever had, but by and large, it's a very, very stable pepper. There isn't a lot of variance in heat. So the, the heat didn't change at all, but the flavor was dramatically different. Um, the heat on the second pod is about the same as the first. Um, the two together, obviously it's climbing higher. Um, wonderful burn though. A very even, beautiful burn in my mouth. It's, uh, and believe it or not, it's a, almost, it's a little bit in my throat. It's right at the back of my tongue where it kind of joins my throat. That's where it's burning right now. But just, you know, Big, big difference when a chill, if you've ever done that, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you've got jalapenos in your fridge right now, try it. See if it's the same and then report back in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I think you'll find that a room temperature, and you know what? I, it just makes sense to me. Let me know what your thoughts are though. Um, let's make it a great day today. I don't know what you're doing, but do it joyfully um, and do it with gusto. That's what my plan is. Uh, I'm going to do a, after this video is done, I'm going to make an unboxing video for the bus pass because there's some really unique stuff in here. I want you guys to see that. Um, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you. In the description box, um, you're going to see a link for um, Abercrombie Hot Peppers. Really great peppers, a great grower. The pods have always been in spectacular shape. If you want some super hots, this is your season to step up and eat one. You don't have to eat the whole thing. You can eat a sliver of it. But it's time. Let's do it. So you'll see uh, Abercrombie in the, in the uh, description box. Right there is the pepper. Um, listen, if you click that pepper, you're riding with me. This is 
I was at a dead show a long time ago, and Jerry said that the he goes, man, this is I'm just your driver. This is your bus, and that really resonated with me because it feels like that here. This is your channel. I'm just the guy behind the wheel. So click the bell. You're on the bus. If you don't want to miss a video, hit notifications. But really, if you don't want to miss anything, your best bet is to visit us daily. Because here's the deal: they just they're very wonky with the consistency of their. Uh, notifications. So if you don't want to miss anything, visit us a lot. Right here is the lifeboat. Um, in my opinion, it's probably one of the most important <laughs> channels on YouTube. This is my brother's channel about Tommy, about sobriety, living your best life purposefully, joyfully, fulfilled after stumbling with a substance because it's possible. I promise you, I live a very fulfilled life. I really do. So if you want some help or you, or you know somebody who does, please check out the lifeboat. Lurk. Just sit there and watch. You'll be back. It's a really great channel. Right there, there are more videos. And listen, I appreciate you guys a lot. It's going to be a great day. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.